Our body is made up of 30 trillion cells. From this huge number of cells, we find that we can actually group these into 200 cell types. For example, bone cells, lung cells, blood cells, nerve cells, etc. Now we can actually further group these 200 cell types into four tissue types. All right, starting with epithelial tissue. These consist of cells in a continuous sheet, either as a single layer thickness, which we call simple epithelial, or in a multiple layer thickness, which we call stratified. Now, we can further categorize epithelial tissue by its shape. If cells are flat looking, we call them squamous. If they're looking like a box, we call them cuboidal. And if they're shaped long and slender, we call them columnar. Now, if these cells here are a simple epithelium, their functions would be diffusion, secretion, absorption. For instance, in the lungs, the alveoli cells, which are simple squamous tissues, they're there to absorb oxygen into the blood. If it's a simple cuboidal cell in the GIT, it's there to secrete enzymes to help with digestion. If it's a simple columnar tissue, like in the linings of the intestines, it's there to absorb nutrients. Now, if it's stratified tissue, like a cell on top of a cell on top of a cell on top of a cell, you might find that with a skin, and that's there for protection. Moving to connective tissue. Connective tissue consists of two main parts, an extracellular matrix, or ECM, and cells. The ECM is made up of fibres, such as collagen or elastin, and gels, like ground substance. It's the different density of these two components that will influence the type of connective tissue it is. For instance, if it's a fluid type of connective tissue, which means it's got a lot of fluid in its gels, this would, example would be blood. If it's semi-solid, so gelatinous, this would be a loose connective tissue, such as fat. But if it's a real dense tissue where it's got really compact fibres, this could be something like bones or ligaments. Moving on to muscular tissue. Muscular tissue is made of myocytes that generate force, therefore movement. There are three types of muscular tissues. Starting number one is skeletal. This muscle attaches to bone, therefore when it contracts, it helps to move the skeleton and generates body movement. Number two is cardiac muscle, which is made up in the heart, and when it contracts, it pushes blood out of the heart. And number three is smooth muscle, and that is found in the walls of hollow organs, such as the intestines and blood vessels, and it would help to move food along the intestines or blood along the blood vessels. Finally, we are left with the nervous tissue. The nervous tissue is made up of two types. Number one, neurons which are nerve cells, and number two, glia. Neurons receive stimuli, convert that into electrical activity, and then send electrical impulses to other neurons, or to muscles, or to glands, whilst glia help to support the neurons. 